He paid the price for you. This night, that's what I'm going to teach about. Jesus paid the price for me. Tell yourself, Jesus paid the price for me. Hallelujah. Price is the cost of an action or deed. D E E D. Is the cost of an action or deed for those of you who are writing. Jesus Christ is the highest price for any mankind. He paid the highest price. A man who saw his debt for his people. He saw his debt. He knew how he wanted to die. The Bible says, when the time was closed, he went to the mountain of Gethsemane and he was praying that if possible, Lord, <laughs> let this cup pass over me. Must I drink this thing I'm seeing? It's like you know you are going to be hanged tomorrow and you are praying today, say, Father. He said, the person committed crime and he will die by hanging. And he start crying, oh God, help me. God, I don't want to die by hanging. So he saw his death, but there's nothing he could do. The Bible said he prayed to a point that the sweat that came out of him was like a tick of blood, asking for a revise. But no way. That is to say some of you that when there is delay, sometimes God allow it as a cup for you to drink. So that when he begins to bless you, you will not take God for granted. Some of you don't know the protection God is giving to you. If you know, when you wake up, you give him times. I'm telling you. Some of you don't know what you are gaining by breathing, taking free breeze. Have you seen somebody that using hella? Go close to them, they will tell you. You know what they are suffering. People that are using Hela. In Hela now, it should be 1,000 something. And sometimes, some of them use three in a week. Eh? They use three in a week. Sometimes. Now, calculate it. Invariably, the person in now is not paying for the breeze. He's supposed to take free of charge. Because when that thing comes, it's like you want to suffocate them. I was in LNG, uh, one of the days I entered boat and the sister was sitting close to me at the last seat and there's an AC, there's an AC, no, some of you, there's AC at the back and she was with her bag, they said no, go and keep the bag there she said no, I can't keep this bag the, the man talked and said, we'll take you out of this boat, she said sir, my inhaler is here, if I keep this bag I'm in trouble if you look at her very tall, very beautiful but she's paying for the breeze she's breathing I told her, I say, are you asthmatic? She said, yes. I said, sitting down close to me, that asthma need to leave you. Amen. She didn't understand. She underestimated me. She looked at me, look at me. Maybe she don't know. Everybody must not know you. Don't blame her. So she looked at me and looked at me. I said, sitting close to me, this nonsense is not supposed to be happening to you. So I expected her to say amen. amen. She looked at me, look at me. I said it again. She looked at me and I removed my eye. So she didn't understand. Now I begin to see she's carrying in her in her bag to fall. So you need to go and tell God, thank you for keeping your life. Praise the Lord. So Jesus paid the price, the highest price. Are you hearing me? So because he lives, that is why you must live. Because he took the blow that you are supposed to take that is why nobody should hit you. Nobody will hit you and go scot free. Let's go quickly to the book of First Corinthians, chapter six, verse twenty. Six, verse twenty. And the person at the table, after now you you will take hold of First Corinthians, chapter seven, twenty-three, Matthew twenty-seven, from verse one. Write them down so that you don't struggle with me. We are going to take some good scriptures tonight. Are you with me? Okay, she's there already. God bless you. Praise the Lord. He said, For ye are bought with what? With a price. For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your what? Body. And in your spirit, which are God's. God owns your body and your what? Spirit. Telling somebody I live my life the way I want it. Don't don't just bother me. I want you will kill yourself. 
Because the way you want it is leading to destruction. Don't just talk to me. I'll live my life the way I want it. Are you, are you, are you the one paying my house rent? I've had people say, use that kind of word. Is he paying my house rent? Eh? Is he feeding me? He should allow me to live my life the way I want it. What are they talking to you about? Maybe the way they move for night is not good. Or the rag you're wearing in the name of Tia Tia Jin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. You don't own your life. Your body and your spirit belongs to who? God. That is why it's very risky for you to lie down in the night no matter how tired you are without saying, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Very risky. Because the devil is looking for a slightest mistake to take your life. The Bible says he has come to steal, kill, and do what? He has three missions on earth. But Jesus has one. He said, I have come that you may have what? Life and have it in what? Abundance. Not half in abundance. So if you are not living your life in abundance, that means something is missing in you. Now watch what the Bible said. He said, for ye are bought with what? A price. This is your phone. Why you guide this phone? Number one, you spend money to buy it. Is it true? Hey, pastor, you didn't steal it. So you try to guide it very well. Eh? You guide it from falling on the ground to break. Because money might not be now to buy another one. Is that true? You guide it from people stealing it from you. Is that true? Because your contacts here are important. This phone is bought with a price. And there are a lot of things that this phone is carrying. The way this man cherishes this phone and guide the phone for no one to steal it because of his contact. The way you cherish your phone. God cherishes you more than the way you cherish your phone. That's what I'm trying to explain here. You are bought with a price. He, 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 he sacrificed himself for you. He, he knew he was to be killed for your sake. So he accepted to die a shameful death. Can you imagine the mockery on the cross? Can you imagine when they caught him, they slapped him, they tied his eyes, they slapped him, they, they kicked him, they said prophesy to us. As you can see, can't you prophesy now? Who hit you? Who slapped you? They spit on him. Pua. If I spit on you now, or if I pour you spit now, there will be a problem. You will hate this church for your life. I'm telling you, in fact, you will... Mm, 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 mm. Mm, even though my mouth is not saying... <laughs> but the, he took all the spit for your sake. For me and you. Hallelujah. He said, therefore, glorify him in your body. So it's our duty to glorify him in your body. Is our duty. Don't, see, can I tell you this? Don't worship God because of what you want from God. Worship God because he is your God. If you're here because of what you want from God, you cannot get it. You keep struggling. Worship him because he deserves to be worshipped. He deserves to be glorified. A songwriter said, You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jehovah. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jehovah. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. So he is worthy to be glorified. More than worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah. So you glorify him in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So he owns both your body and your spirit. He don't just say, when I go to church, God own me. Then when I leave my house, I own myself. No. No. Because if you begin to do it that way, it's only when you come to church, he will look at you now. 
the one you leave your sentence should drag you and give you accident. Hello. Now let's go to the last scripture. Okay, he said, Ye are bought with what? The same thing. Be not ye the servant of who? He said, Ye are bought with what price? Be not ye the servant of men. Be not ye the servant of men. Some of you cherish your director more than God. You cherish your work more than God. Praise the Lord. Sunday morning, you come to church 10 o'clock. But you go to work by 4.30, you are the apostle. You honor your job more than God. You don't miss work, but you can miss service. You don't miss work because you feel you earn money from there. But can I ask you, if the owner of life did not give you life, can you work and get money? A songwriter said, not by power nor by might, but by the spirit, says the Lord. And that is what Zechariah said. If the God of heaven did not put his hand and wake you up this morning, you cannot be alive today. I can't be alive today. So honoring him with your body, your soul, your spirit is something you ought to do. They don't need to beg you to do that. You cherish work that will perish. You cherish work that will end here on earth. But you don't honor God who has the power to cast your soul and your spirit to hell. Your supervisor threatening you now, you want to beg. You carry everybody and you go to his house and beg. But God tell you, I will kill you tomorrow. He said, God, you're a merciful God. Pastor tell you, said, the Lord is angry with you. You cannot, you don't take it as anything. He said, God, God, all of us not be children of God. You're not going to feel killers. Praise the Lord. You ought to know that you don't serve men, but serve who? You can honor men, no problem. You can respect men, no problem. Just like Catholics say, we honor Mary. You don't blame them. They have every right to say so. And every, every child who don't honor his mother is a mad person. No matter how he be, honor her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's go to Matthew 27 from verse 1. I want to show you something. Matthew 27, we're going to take it to 10. Very important. He said, when the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel together against Jesus to put him what? To death. Because of me and you. The devil stole the key of life in the garden. He stole the key of life in the garden. He collected power from man in the garden. He collected the strength, grace, he took away from man the garden. God gave man authority to be in charge of the devil because of the wife he got married to and his own foolishness. Now they take the gang up against him to put him to death. Verse 2. And when they had bounded him, they led him away and delivered him to what? Pontius what? Pilate, the governor. This is the price he paid. Watch this now. There's three. He said, Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. 